Hey y'all, Casey Davis here again, the Camp County Extension Agent in Pittsburgh, Texas. As I mentioned, I just wanted to go ahead and break up uh, the two portions of this video and give just the results in this last segment, so we will continue on with that. So I just wanted to do a quick recap before um, moving on into the results of our winter annual weed control demonstration. So if you remember, uh, we had a variety of weeds present, including purple dead nettle, henbit, Carolina geranium, spurweed, also known as lawn burrweed, um, various different chickweed varieties, various different clover varieties, and we probably would have some buttercup and yellow wood sorrel had any of um, had the areas gone untreated. There was also some uh, field matter that I point out in the live portion of the video that I was able to record. Also, if you remember, the uh, six different plots that we were working with was, of course, the control. So we had no pesticide <coughs> or home remedy application at all. We just let the weeds grow. In plot two, it was, we applied atrazine. In plot three, we applied atrazine plus a three-way mixture, which included 2,4-D, MCPP, and dicamba. In the fourth plot, it was just the three-way mixture. In the fifth plot, we used a home remedy commonly seen across Facebook and Google that included a mixture of dish soap, Epsom salt, and vinegar. In the last plot, we used a four-way mixture including panoxalum, sulfentrazone, 2,4-D, and dicamba. Okay, here we are finally showing the results. So uh, the way I did it here was I showed each plot up against itself in, on days 0, 15, and 35. And then you'll see in the live portion of the video um, how it looked on day 20. So the first here, the control plot, you can see we started out very young weeds and of course just progressed into a lot more. Uh, the atrazine plot, again, started out Mm, very young weeds. Um, on day 15, you could see there was a little bit of burning. There were a lot of weeds that were starting to die off. And by day, really day 20 and 35, um, we had really good control. By day 35 here, you can see the desirable grasses have start have emerged and the the plots, this plot is just looking really nice. The atrazine plus three-way plot, again, start out about the same. About day 15, you can see we had good weed control. Um, so at about day 15 and 20, that atrazine plus three-way mixture plot was my favorite. It did have the most weed control. But by day 35, of course, we've got our grass, our desirable grass growing. Doesn't look much different in the long term uh, from the original atrazine plot. But you get over to the three-way only plot. We had some control, not a whole lot, by day 15. And by day 35, it doesn't look much different than the control plot, guys. Um, I was not impressed with the three-way only mixture, which, as I indicated in a previous video, uh, there were some publications that said that a three-way mixture may not be strong enough and may not give good control alone without using atrazine or another product. Okay, the home remedy plot. So uh, by day 15, you can see there's still quite a bit of weed pressure and you can actually see the weeds from day zero in that same shape and pattern and where they're growing at are only larger by day 15. By day 35, the weeds have covered it and we do have desirable grass growing now too. But, um, but yeah, those weeds were just out of control in that home remedy plot. Lastly, in the four-way plot, um, fairly decent control. It was it was actually probably my second choice, second place choice on day 15, although it still didn't control that thistle, which isn't surprising. Uh, but by day 35, you can see there were actually a few weeds that started to reemerge. And um, then we also didn't have as great of our desirable grass growing here yet. So um, it, it looks okay now, but we may have stunted um, or delayed the emergence of the desirable grasses uh, for whatever reason in this product. Now I'm going to show you a live video portion that we recorded and you can take a take on a little bit different look at it. Hey guys, Casey Davis here, Camp County Extension Agent. I just wanted to give a quick update on our result demo for winter annual weed control. 
We are a day shy of week three from the date that I sprayed. So we've got um, some good control going on. We've got some not so good control going on. If you'll follow me over here, this was our control plot. You can see there is a great variety of weeds present. Primarily this purple dead nettle. We've got some, um, some more chickweed, Carolina geranium. Um, it's a little bit shorter, but you can see it right there. And a lot of this with the flower, um, I've heard this called different things, so I'm not gonna put a name on it, but you can see primary, or there's lots of weeds present. Again, this was the control group where we did not apply any kind of um, pesticide at all. We come over to the second one. This is where we applied atrazine only. We've got pretty good control of it, but as I've mentioned in my previous video, it was very difficult to control the, um, the bottle that's ready to go that you just attach to your water hose. Very difficult to control that. So you can see I've got a little burning going on. Not a huge deal. It should recover because the grass was still dormant or the desirable grass was still dormant. We move over one more plot here. We've got the atrazine plus three-way mixture. So that was a combination of that ready to go spray, which again, you see a few burnt spots because that's very difficult to control that rate at which you spray. And then the three-way mixture, which again is um, 2,4-D, MCPP, and dicamba. This is what I would say is our best looking plot. There's very minimal weed pressure. Um, if you go back over to the atrazine one, you can see we've got a few weeds if we zoom in real close. A few things going on here. Um, definitely some Carolina geranium. That might be another type of chickweed. Um, a little, this isn't dollar weed, but it's it's very similar. It has another name that I can't think of at the moment. Um, but again, come back over to this atrazine and three-way. Very minimal weed pressure. You can zoom in. There's a little bit, but you can see our um, grass is breaking dormancy, and so we're coming through looking real nice. You come over to our three-way plot, which was just that 240 MCPP and dicamba not real pleased with it um you can see there's a lot of hen bit it did some control I'm, I'm sorry purple dead nettle it did control some of the hen bit it did control a few of the other things but you can see there was not a lot of residual so a lot of those weeds are already growing back um, that had produced seeds and so that next generation is already present all right we come over to the home remedy so this was that Dawn dish soap, um, Epsom salt, and vinegar, I believe, mixture. It had that good, not good, it had some control at the very beginning where we had some brown spots. Those plants have already recovered, grown back. You can see the weed pressure here. If you wanna zoom in, we've got some clovers, um, some other things going on here. So not something that I recommend for a long term. Um, I really like day two or three after I sprayed, which I have some, which y'all saw, saw some pictures. But other than that, that's really all it did. Move over to our last plot. This was that four way mixture. I know it had two 4D in it. Um, can't remember the other three components, but it was a four way mixture. Pendethylum, pendamethylum, something like that. We'll, we'll get you those, that information. But it had pretty decent control as well. It was another one of those spray, ready to go sprays, where you just attach it to your water hose. And again, very difficult to control the rate of spraying that. So you can see there's a few burnt spots. Um, and, and that's gonna be my caution to you on those. It did nothing for the one lone thistle that we have. <laughs> there's a little bit of leaf curling, so it might've stunted it a little bit, but I'm gonna dig that up as soon as this is over with and call it good on that. So again, pretty decent control here but the little bit of burning that I'm seeing and these new weeds popping up, like I said, that look like this. Ponyfoot, actually, I think is what that's called. Ponyfoot, yeah. Um, you know, that's, that's something that either the residual isn't long enough or that's gonna require another application. So again, you can take a look at the whole site here. I would say that 2,4-D, or I'm sorry, that three-way mix and atrazine was probably the best for this type of lawn but if you have any questions um, concerns or want to go back over anything don't hesitate to let me know thanks